Dartfish friends, we are very nearly there. The opening stage of the Arctic Rally of Finland. You don't like it when I call it that, do you, David? It's just Arctic, Arctic Rally. Rally Finland. It's three Arctic words, Colin. Rally it's Finland. not complicated. The opening stage of Arctic Rally Finland is, well, it's very nearly upon us, David. We are in that opening stage. I think the first thing to do, folks, is to give you an update, an on-the-spot update in terms of conditions. The stage we had a look at yesterday, David, not much different, really. Have they put a plough through here? This does look to me as it, if they have put a plough through. It does. In fact, you, I think they have. You would say this has been ploughed. It's been ploughed. Been... Thierry said, didn't he, yesterday, that he really was confident they would plough it. And we thought there was a lot of gravel up there, particularly as you go back into the into the other section, the you know, from the start, the first 10K, the first six miles or so, there was a lot of gravel there. And really we was. thought that it would really disrupt the surface if they if they ploughed it. Maybe they've just ploughed this fast bit. We don't know. That's definitely been ploughed, though. You yeah. can just about pick out the plough marks on there. So in terms of the weather, well, do you know what? It's above freezing. Plus one degrees when we came in here. It's round about, what, just after one o'clock now. We have a couple of hours before the start of the stage. But, David, the interesting thing about the very latest weather forecast is for the second pass on this stage. It's going to run in the dark and round about early evening, we're expecting some weather. 70% chance for snow, is it? Something like that. And yeah, I mean, if that comes, it is very, very difficult. We talked to Sebastian yesterday, Sebastian Ogier, and he said, you know, if you're trying to run with the big lights on, it is exceptionally difficult. You get this horrible bounce back off the snow. And, and the thinking is that because it's that bit warmer, you're going to get these big, chunky potato chip flakes, if you like. Uh, and they really do. I've been described as potato chip flakes before. It's, you don't watch enough ski movies. Well, obviously, I don't. No. That's, but that's <laughs> what they are. And, 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 you know, it is really hard to drive because you have to knock the big lights off and just yeah. use the corner lights. And it, that, these can be some of the most challenging conditions they if can. we, if we get thing, heavy snow. The other thing to remember is that if we get heavy snow, you can rapidly get an accumulation on the surface. And, uh, you know, as we know, the more snow that falls, the slower the surface gets. So uh, we might find, if it does snow, we don't know it's going to snow in the second pass. If it yeah, does... Cole, you know, you've been talking about this snow for the last three or four days. You know it's going to snow. And if it doesn't, it's your fault. It is my fault. But anyway, there we go. That's the latest forecast we've got. David, we've obviously had shakedown this morning. Shakedown was really interesting. To, again, give you an update on the conditions from shakedown if you haven't seen the pictures or the videos. Do you know, it was... It was I almost said warm, warm by local standards. It was above freezing. There was an awful lot of fog around. The definition was difficult in the stage. There was very, very little contrast. And what we saw was kind of what we expected to see, which was a lot of drivers making mistakes, mistakes, David. Yeah, I mean, first run through, wasn't it? For I think for first run for Thierry, yeah. first run for Tuahino, you know, somebody who knows who's done this rally so many times before. Uh, just caught out and you know nosed into the snowbank you do not have to go far no. into these snowbanks and you're not coming back you know there's there's so much snow in there it just packs around the wheels and and that was it and two you know, went in properly but, but uh, you're quite right you, you have to literally if you get the front axle anywhere near the deep snow you're being pulled out you're not you're not going to be able to reverse that car out, are you no so but the immediate see... the immediate story though the one that we the one that made you shout, a lot makes you shout, Gold. But when we saw Robin Perez time, yeah. first time through, you know, to put a marker down to say there. That's yeah. and we think from our understanding that there's some games being played, not games being played, but the tires. Some of them are, are trying to keep these tires for and part of the allocation for the event, and that's really sensible. You know, you can do one that shakedown stage was what six k, so Five three and a bit miles. Yeah, um, yeah. So if you do one really hard push in there, you know, you've got tires that have been used for three and a half, four miles, whatever, and then just take it really steady. Look after the tyres. You could use those on the event. And I think that's what Calais done. He wanted to put the marker down. He's put that time He's put in. It down. He's put the marker and down. It, and it was, yeah. you know, it was a big margin. You look at the timesheets, overall after shakedown and he's he's down the time sheets but it you doesn't look, matter you look, no, exactly you look at the first past times and he was right up there what i found interesting david and i don't know how much we can read into this folks what happened in monte carlo we had four toyotas in the top six what's happened in shakedown here we've got five high undies in the top seven tanak really impressively fast yeah, super can quick. we read much into those times. There's part of me that thinks with Oit, you know, Oit took that, you know, the, the time was, his fastest time was obviously on the third run, and it was quite a lot quicker, you know, 1.3 seconds quicker or something like that. Uh, and, and there's a part of me that thinks that, you know, 
I'd seen everybody talking about Cali being favourite and the Toyotas this, and, and that would really fire somebody like Oit up. And I think that, you know, there's an aspect that he's come in and said, actually, don't forget me. I'm the former world champion. Yeah. It wasn't you know? that long ago. No, it wasn't. And, you know? and, and we know for sure that that car is really good yeah. on, on fast roads. You know, th to win in Estonia last year and the performance that we saw in, in Ottawa as well just a couple of weeks ago, uh, or last week or whenever it was, you know, that it's a strong car. It's a very strong um, car. And I think the shakedown performance has shown that. We've got Craig Breen obviously set a really good time in there. Takamoto San has set a great time. Yeah. Pierre Louis Loubet has set a good time. And let's not forget that Thierry Neuville, having had a big scare on the first pass when he had to be pulled out of the snowbank, mm -hmm. he set a good time. So, yeah, not a lot we can read into it, but what we know from that shakedown is that it's going to be close. You know, we kind of feared that maybe the Toyotas, you had a great start in one of your articles, David, Toyota have never been beaten since their return in Finland. There was that suggestion that maybe Toyota were going to completely dominate this event. That will not happen. It does show though, Carl, just how fickle you and I are. We, we've talked Toyota up for, for the last week and we get to shake down, which can be, you know, well, can, can be quite meaningless. Off, but no, we're not. And I think, you know, I do think that I think Calais, I think all of the Toyota boys have played this tire game and they've just, you know, they're not really interested. Well, they know what's the coming. Case. That may be the case. We'll wait and see. We don't have long to wait, guys. What quick, will we, we should make, quick, sorry, quick mention back to Shakedown on WRC2. Mickelson quickest. As delivering, we expected, yeah. Yeah, Lappy a little bit further down. Yeah. Christofferson, good time. Good time fifth? from him. And he was another one that was in the slow banks yeah. earlier on, on the recce and during the event. He no, was a No, it's Ekstrom. Extra, was it extra? Man? Getting your sorry, WRX well drivers confused. Yeah, easy to do. Yep. Folks, it is going to be fascinating. To be honest with you, we know that the M Sport car, the Ford, the, Ford, the Toyota and the Hyundai all have the pace. I think this is going to be a rally where ultimate pace maybe isn't the ultimate decider. If you keep out the snowbanks, if you have a clean event, keep those tyres really good, really working in the, in the, the ice, you've got a very good chance here. It's going to be a fascinating rally. I, I genuinely think, David, this first stage will tell us massive amounts about who's going to win. And, and if this first stage doesn't, certainly the second stage, they come out of here, they've done 31K, 19 miles. They go down to the road, up the road to Kamiyavi, which is very close to the Russian border. Regroup there, no new tyres, back in, yeah. and another crack at it. And, and in the dark and potentially with the, with the snow coming, which is coming, isn't it, Carl? It is coming. It's definitely it coming. Folks, have a look on our YouTube channel. There are plenty of videos there. You can have our, a look at our preview of this stage. And what you'll notice as well is that the straight, which is just up the hill here and around the corner, we think is going to be one of the most fantastic pieces of footage. Keep an eye out for that. If if you watch one corner this year, watch, watch that one. No, 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 watch the right. It's that fast right. Fast and we right. asked we asked Sebastian about it. We asked a lot of the drivers about it. Colin, did you think it was flat or did I, I think it, could it was be flat? flat. It it was, be, well, it's, it's difficult to you, tell when you're on the You were pretty Sebastian, convinced it was flat Sebastian says car. it's not going to be flat, no. but it'll be fascinating. It'll be exciting, folks. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel. Keep an eye on all our social channels. We are here to bring you all the news, all the drama as it unfolds at Arctic Rally. Finland. See you soon.